This presidential election was not like any other in history because the pandemic necessitated changes in the voting process. We spoke with town clerk Teddy Eaton to learn about the modifications and how they affected state election voting. The new election laws required um, two weeks of early voting. And for that, we had almost 15,000 voters uh, turn out. For the actual day, we had about 400 per precinct, about 4,000, a little under maybe. So it was quieter at the polls than it was at early voting. And we actually processed those 15,000 ballots. Um, they were opened, they were um, checked off on the voting list, the ballots were then inserted into the tabulation machine, and those were not officially tallied until after eight o'clock on election night. You have so much required things to do leading up to the election, and now you have to have four days of processing ballots before you've even gotten to the election. Um, everybody that worked extremely hard. I can't, I can't thank them enough for the work they did. We worked seven hours a day straight through, precinct by precinct by precinct until they were all done. It was a lot of work. Plus, one of the problems was the state sent out the little postcards as of July 1st for vote by mail applications. And a lot of people sent those in, but then when it came to early voting, which was two weeks before the election, they wanted to vote in person. So they would come in with their ballot or they would not come in with their ballot. And we really didn't need that ballot. And as long as they weren't checked off as having voted, then they could vote. So it worked out pretty well overall. It just was getting used to the new system and trying to make it work and work properly. The Dropbox was very popular. People were concerned, you know, did we have guards? Did we have people watching it? And we did have police security and nighttime surveillance at times, you know, but um, we had no problem with the need of drop box. And I think everybody loved the red box. Um, also, I can't say enough for our, um, for our Needham post office. They did an excellent job. I mean, we were processing, as I said, 15,000 vote by mail ballots and, um, that's a lot of work when you have to put, you know, the ballot, the return envelope, the ballot envelope, which has to be signed all inside and then put the postage on it and then get the post office to take it for us. And they were excellent. And they've been, they've worked with us very closely and I, I, I can't say enough for them. And I want to thank all the voters who came out and all the people that helped make this work because it takes a village. <laughs> <laughs>